Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. This video is a demonstration of making a couple of screenshots in Windows and then importing those screenshots into Adobe Lightroom and then creating a multi-page PDF presentation of those screenshots in Lightroom. So the first thing you want to do is you want your screenshot, you want your application to fill your screen so that it's as large as possible. So maximize your application. And then I'm going to be doing a screenshot of a, a collection of 36 images. So I have my collection right here. I'll click on that. And uh, I also want these to be sorted by, um, I notice that I have um, color coded them according to various themes and I want them to be sorted according to that. Now I could go around and, and move them around like this to uh, sort them, but there's a much faster way, which is down here, uh, can, there's this sort option. If you don't see this bar here, the T key, if I press the T key, there it is, uh, we'll toggle that on and off. So press the T key, get your, um, your sort order, and change that to be sorting by um, color label, label color. And you'll notice that actually um, you may, your color labels may fill the whole area around the image. Uh, I've got mine conf configured to just use this little box down here because I find it distracting to have all that color. So, um, but nevertheless, the color label is right here and now it's all sorted by color label. And the next thing I want to do is I want to fill the screen with as much of these of the image as possible because you know, I've got all this empty real estate right now. So down here in the lower right, there's the thumbnail slider and I can just increase that. But I want to don't want to go too far. I want to make sure I'm seeing all of every image. And there I have all 36 very nicely displayed. And um, I have one uh, selected right now and you can see over here I have the keywording panel visible and you can see what keywords are in there. Uh, you may uh, have occasion to do that, to have one particular image selected so you can see what keywords are on that image. But anyway, so now the next thing I want to do is to make a screenshot. So in Windows there's a very handy tool called the snipping tool and to use that I'm going to click on the um, the start icon here and down here there's a search box oops S N I P and if I just type that it'll list the tools that um, have that in it one of which is the snipping tool so I click on that and that brings up the snipping tool and what I want here is I want a new snip I'm gonna click this down arrow and I want a full screen snip. And there it is. And so now I'm just going to save that. And save it to my desktop and uh, call it, um, I can, actually, I can just call it that capture.jpg. If, if the default is not JPEG, you can flip this down and uh, select JPEG there and just save that. And now I can close it. And the next thing I want is I want a, um, a screenshot of just the images that I have flagged. I flagged one image from each of these various uh, themes. And so to do that, I'm going to go up here to in the library filter. And if this bar is not visible, you can make it visible with the backslash key, which is like so. Make that visible and click attribute and I want to click on the flag attribute and that will show just the images that are flagged. Here again I want to increase the size so that that's a little too big because you can't see the bottom of this one so I'm going to have to reduce that a little bit and that's as big as I can make it and so I'll get all four of those. Now you may not need four, you may need three, you may need six, whatever it is you need so now I'm going to do a snip of this screen. So I'll click on there again and go to snip. 
Now on my computer, I have actually created a um, shortcut to the snipping tool, which is down here on my taskbar, so that I don't have to go in and type that every time. So um, if you use the snipping tool a lot, you may find it useful to do that. So we go to here and full screen snip and save that and call that capture one on my desktop. And now I can close that. And now I want to import those two screenshots back into Lightroom. So I'm going to click on Import. And find my desktop. So to do that, I go in here to Users and Arlen and Desktop. And I want to uncheck all and then just check the capture and capture one. So those are the two I want to bring in. And I can move those or I can add them. Uh, in this case, uh, if you want them to, if you want Lightroom to put them in a different location, you can move them someplace else. I'm simply going to add them and click import. And there they are. Now I can select those two. Actually, they're both selected already. Um, actually, that one, to select both of them, I can click on the first one, hold the shift key down and click on the second one. And now they're both selected. And I can go to the slideshow function. Actually, before I do that, I want to show you one other thing that uh, you may need to do in some situations. I click on just one of them and open up the metadata here then there is a field in the metadata called caption. And um, I can add a caption in there uh, in, if I want that to be printed at the bottom of the slideshow. So in this situation, I don't need that, but I just want to point that out that that's, that's where you find that. And you have to have an individual, just one image selected, and then you can do the caption, create a caption there. So right now I just want the two of them and go to slideshow and um, caption and rating would be the one that you use for uh, to include the caption. I might as well use that in this one as well. So I'm going to use the caption and rating template. If I had a caption, it would be printed down at the bottom here. And now all I have to do is I'm going to leave everything alone over on the right side. Everything, just go with the defaults and uh, click export PDF on the lower left side. And this time I'm going to name this file according to whatever the file naming convention is for the course I'm taking. And, um, and make sure you use the correct name. I'm just going to use this. Uh, and now make sure also that your uh, quality is high. Um, you know, the highest one available would be a good idea. And click Save. Notice in the upper left, it's finished already, but there was a um, progress bar up there, and you want to make sure that that finishes before you close out of that. And now I have a screen capture that I saved to my desktop right here. I can open that up. And here it is. First page and the second page. I hope that's been useful.